Hey, beautiful people of the internet, my name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be reviewing an eerily good book. Book? And today I'm going to be reviewing an eerily good book called The Circle by Dave Eggers. Isn't this like the greatest color for a book? I'm slightly obsessed with books that win at the whole attention-grabbing game without acting like they're even playing the attention-grabbing game. Ah, sorry, off topic, okay. Just a real quick disclaimer, by the time this video goes up on the channel, I'll actually be somewhere in Arizona or California. If you're sitting there wondering, wait, why didn't you leave for California? Don't worry, I did. I just pre-recorded this video right before I left, very obviously, uh, so that I wouldn't have to do it while I'm on the road. Disclaimer numero dos, no spoilers here. Okay, so The Circle by Dave Eggers. This is a late 2013 novel, a pretty quick read despite its length. It's like 490 pages, but it doesn't seem like it. Very accessible, very fun, and also very much aimed at that age group of people who grew up with the internet, knowing the social media game, and knowing the incredible tool that the internet is. That's important, you'll see why. Okay, so let's talk very generally about the plot of The Circle before getting on to Dave Eggers himself, and then, of course, whether or not you should read the book. The Circle is about May Holland. She is a recent college graduate who just landed her dream job at a young tech company called The Circle, and that is their logo. The book then follows two parallel plot lines, May's ascension through company ranks and The Circle's ascension as a company. Both of them reach pretty lofty heights. May becomes an international superstar, and The Circle becomes the most indispensable ever-present company in the history of humans. Don't worry, that's not a spoiler. So I said earlier that this book was accessible, and I meant that about the writing level, but also about the references in the book. Because this entire book is built around tiny moments of recognition. It's got that young tech company in California, like maybe, I don't know, Google or Apple. It's got social media platforms that are oddly similar to, I don't know, Vine or Twitter or Facebook. It's got tech startup geniuses like maybe Zuckerberg or Jobs. You see where I'm going with this. But if there is any value in this book, and I believe there is quite a bit, then it's in these two things. Let's establish first that this is the most social media-ly involved writing that I've ever read without any of the awkwardness that comes when an adult tries to talk about Yik Yak or Vine. But also, and this is the thing that takes this book from cool to incomparable for me at least, this is writing and storytelling and thinking of the highest caliber. And that is a killer combo for a book. Okay, so Dave Eggers. Basically, I just wanna be Dave Eggers. Can we leave it at that? Good? Okay. Eggers is a decently big deal in the literary world. He founded McSweeney's, a publishing house that I'm a pretty big fan of, and he's had some books that have done pretty well. Books that I now feel as if I need to read. Mostly though, Eggers is just cool. I mean, he seems like one of those adults who knows what it is like to be perpetually 25 and on the forefront of pop culture and, you know, not old. Also, P.S., I just discovered that The Circle is going to be a movie coming out in 2016. Oh! Emma Watson is going to be in The Circle. And filming starts in California in September. Last time I checked... It's September and I'm going to California. In case you have not yet followed these details to the logical conclusion, I think Emma Watson and I are dating. Alrighty, moving on to the writing, the stylistic things. Now, to be frank here, hi Frank, my name's Ryan. Shut up, Ryan. Now, to be frank here, you're not gonna recommend this novel because of beautiful sentences. It's got some, sure, but a lot of novels have beautiful sentences. No, you're gonna recommend this book because of the ideas, which are good. This book is basically 1984, except for 2013. I'm not the first person to say that, we're all saying it for good reason, but this is also a much more seductive novel than 1984. You read the first half of this book thinking technological utopia, we're gonna make it, we're gonna do it, and then you read the second half thinking, oh my god, I hope we never do it. You read about the wonder of human connection and human accomplishment that never would have happened without technology, and then you read about the destruction of private life due to technology. The central question, like all dystopic and utopic books, this has a central question, is about privacy and about opting out of the social world. You should have a right to privacy, sure, but how far does that right extend? And you should also be able to opt out of the internet age if you so choose, right? To be very clear about it, Eggers', is, Eggers ideas a plus. And that is why I feel comfortable recommending this book. In a world where you can never actually read all of the books that you want to or ought to, I still feel 
that this is a book worth reading. It's got unique things to say about the human condition, specifically in the last 15 years, and it says them decently well. Read this book, especially if you're under 30. Okay, one very last comment about the book to the readers who are saying, this is so unrealistic. Humans would never let the internet and social media and a company get that out of control. I say, of course it's unrealistic. This would not make a very good book if it was more mild. No, he, like a good author, is making you feel a little bit of a chill because he's writing down here on the other end of the spectrum at absolute zero. That's just good fiction writing. Alrighty, ladies and gents, that's all I've got for this week. Subscribe below if you want to see me get emotional about books sometimes. And I'll see you all in California. Best wishes! That's all I've got for this week, ladies and gents. Subscribe if you want to hear me get emotionable. Emotionable? Emotionable! Subscribe if you want to hear me get emotionable. Emotional! Ah. See me get emotionable. Emotional! <laughs> this happens every single time I read a book. I get like three seconds of warm fulfillment, and then I have to go add four books to my list of books that I must read before I die. When does it ever end? Ah!